color me crazy, but I kind of like this sofa. It is time to hit the Goodwill. I am going to go in this store. This is not a very big store, so we'll just see what they have on the shelves and uh, what goodies we can find. I am setting my sights just a wee bit higher because I just did that big shopping trip over at the Antique Mall. And I have to get that stuff dealt with before I get too much little stuff. So we'll see how disciplined I can stay this time. I know I always say that. And I just want to let you know, I have something super exciting I will be adding very soon. I just met with the folks over at Dog Junkies Thrift Store, which you see me film at quite often, and they are going to let me come in and do live thrifting. So, I just got to set that up and set a date. So make sure you're subscribed and you've hit the bell notification so you kind of get notice when that happens. I'll know. I'll be just watch the videos because I'll be announcing it because I'm re I'm really super excited about it. So okay, enough of that. Let's get into this Goodwill and see what we can find. Let's go get shop done. All right, I walked in and I'm over by the furniture and I spotted these guys. The bowl is twelve ninety nine and the matador is twelve ninety nine. I don't know how old they are. It's got a couple little chips. They're kind of cool. I just don't know much about them, and that's a $25 investment. So I think I'm going to pass, but they are super cool. And then there's a big, huge turkey. Oh my gosh, he's so heavy. Full of plants. Oh, he's so heavy. Oh my goodness. This is the store with some super skinny aisles, and I'm already having trouble getting down some aisles to look at things. Looking at these little shelves. I don't know if I need any more little shelves right now, but this is interesting. What are you? You're like a little... Ugh. Oh, you say something on you. What do you say? You say catazone. So it's like a little folding stool. I kind of like that for $5.99. Okay. Yeah, just I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get down all these aisles because it's quite busy and uh, only one cart and I don't like to impede anyone's else shopping with my slow shopping. $3.99. I, I like the look of this. This wood home sign. I think that would do really well down at my antique mall booth. I like this big flower too but I'm not, I don't have really a pink theme anywhere. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at that big old D. I don't need a big old D though. I've got the only D that I need, <laughs> but oh my goodness. Ooh, I like this little sign. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Ugh. So it was $9.99 at Hobby Lobby and you know they go like 50% off, so they've got it like pretty much full Hobby Lobby price, so not gonna get that. Those are interesting. They look like they might have some age on them. Mirror, mirror on the wall. What happened? <laughs> Relax. Okay, let's see. Got some, oh, one of them is broken. That's too bad. We don't need an at symbol. Okay, let's see what's up here. Like some laser art. That's like a thing now. And nothing up top. And nothing below that we need. Let's see what we got hiding under here. A luminary to be painted. Ooh, another one of those really nice Easter baskets. This one's $4.99. I'm picking all these up because these are gonna sell like hotcakes soon. All right, let's see. What are you? It's an 
interesting piece. An original St. Andrew's Abbey. It's $2.99. It's 1981. That is interesting. I think that's like a marriage thing, right? Yeah. I mean, aren't those the wedding ring symbols? And then, yeah, you know what? I want to pick that up. Let's see. It's hiding under here. Oh, you know what? There was more of these under here. Put you with your friends. All right, let's see. See you again. Again, this is another Hobby Lobby piece. So it was $12.99, and they've got it at $9.99, and that's just that's not that's not how a Hobby Lobby does. I mean, I've talked about this before. Hobby Lobby prices, and then they put it like half price at a certain time, and if you're a regular at Hobby Lobby, you know that. Um, so, give me a J. It's kind of a cool J. Too bad we don't need a J. All right, I don't see anything. I think I've picked these up before and then realized the error of my way. But this is cool. Look at this apple. It's $4.99 for just this big rustic looking apple. I need him. All right. Let's... I mean, they got some cool stuff. It's just, oh, I do need a Y. I do need a Y. So now I got a Y. And that one is $7.99 though. I don't really want to pay $7.99. I'm going to wait on the Y. I'll find another Y. Y. Right, I think this is like the metals, but there's other stuff mixed in too. It's a neat looking pattern on that bowl. It's, um, oh, it's a Wilton Armatail, $7.99 pretty. Let's see if we can find anything else exciting. This is, I think this is pretty modern. It's cool, but it's, yeah, it's just a modern little decorator piece. It is cool though. I like it. For you, you are a bank. <laughs> Sounds like you've got a coin in you. $5.99. I don't know who makes this bank. I don't see a mark. It's silver plate. It's not really my thing, so I'm going to leave that one. I have some linked metal hearts. Those are interesting. I don't know what you would do with them, but they're interesting. Okay, let's look. We got a Onyx pen holder for $1.99. Oh, it's got a big chunk out of the corner, so we have to leave that. Had that been perfect, I would have grabbed that. And then there's this doorstop. Oh, he's cast iron. He's heavy bird for $4.99. Uh, uh, I'm borderline on that. I think probably because it's a bird. I don't think it's old. That's the thing. It is a modern reproduction. So for that reason, I think I'm going to leave it. Oh, there's this pumpkins. Oh, wait, let's look at this seltzer bottle. Again, this looks like a reproduction. This does not look old at all. Let's see what you are. Little pumpkiny pumpkins. Oh, this is a little different than the one I have. It's $5.99. I'm going to grab that. This is a neat little set with the bowls inside of the baskets nesting together. And this is art pottery that has a really nice look to it. It's like a stoneware, but then there's like these, this little glazed scribble inside there. It's got a nice look. It's not priced. I think, I don't think I'm going to get it, but that one, that one kind of tugged at me. I will confess. I was just passing by the art and I spotted these birds that look like Scirocco wood. You can see the back of one there. Oops, is it upside down? Yeah, so it's 1962, I want to say that is. Am I right? Am I right? And it is Scirocco. 
Are they in good shape? They're really bright. That's what's kind of throwing me, but I like them. Ten dollars. Ah, uh, why do you have to be ten dollars? I mean, I do get a twenty percent discount. Okay, I think I'm gonna pick these up. All right, now we are in the flowers and such. And uh, I do always look for you know little interesting fake flowers because I am gonna get back into my flower design. Yeah, I know. I see. I see the beaded fruit. I'm just trying to be picky right now. What are you? Your interesting piece. What does that say? It says Imperial Enterprises made in Spain. It is $4.99. I kind of like it. I don't know. It's awful big though. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going I'm, I'm to think about that one. But I am probably going to grab some little succulents if they're not too much. Yeah, see, 99 cents. I can do 99 cents. All right, let's look through the rest of the vases and see. This looks like a Namaji. Let's see if you are Namaji. You are Namaji. For $7.99, these just don't bring a lot. So I tend to not pick them up. And that, the green's kind of an interesting color though. I got, uh, you know what? I may do a quick peek and see where these are falling in the market. All right, I am gonna go ahead and pick it up. Simply because the green is a more unusual color, should bring like 25 to $30. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that for $7.99. And see what else is over here. That's an odd piece. It is, uh, made in Italy, which I didn't expect. It almost looked like a hobbyist piece, didn't it? Five ninety nine. It's just a. It's weird. It's just kind of a weird shape. I think. I'm having trouble with it. I, I gotta confess. So I'm gonna leave that. That is a heavy green vase. Just not. Just not exciting. It's gotta have some excitement level to it, you know? Just a little bit. A little emotion. A little something. You know, like, oh my gosh, this guy has been outside way too long. You almost can't even tell he's a turtle anymore. Poor guy. All right, and you have to look through all of their vases really close because they're just put on the shelf by color. So, you never know what you're going to spot. Like a vintage pressed glass cornucopia vase. Again, I don't think this is like a big seller. This is kind of a cool vintage piece, so I'm going to leave that. I'm trying to be just a little picky. Just a little. I can't get too picky though. I just it's not in my nature. It's just no fun to be too picky. Oh, I do like that. What does that say? Port of So it's 1998, 299. I'm going to grab that. All right, let's see if there's anything else in the clear. It's a beautiful punch bowl. I'm kind of a sucker for these big punch bowls too, but I'm gonna leave this one. I just sold a big punch bowl. I don't need to replace that space right now. That's a hard sell. All right, we are on the plastic side, which I'll just give a kind of a quick peek through. I've had requests to not skip the plastics because some of you like the hunt for some of the old Tupperware and melamine and things that might be over in the plastics. So here we are. And they color code everything. Like it's all merchandise by color, which is kind of pleasant. I do like that. I am not seeing anything super special today, except maybe this vintage pitcher. I don't know who does it. And it's really worn. That's kind of cool, but it would be cool if it was in really good condition. All right, I'm excited. Some of the aisles I want to get down are not all packed now. It's a cool glass vase. I mean, it's crude. It's made in China glass. It's very lightweight for its size, so I'm going to leave it. But it does have a nice look to it, and I am sure somebody is going to pick that up. It just won't be me. All right, let's looky-looky. We've got a 
glass pear dish. I don't know what you would do with that, but it's not going to be me doing something with it this time. All right, just to show you guys, these are not Fiesta. I, I get a lot of comments going, you pass the Fiesta, you pass, but trust me, there's a lot of makers that make these same colors. The Fiesta has a, it's got a certain thickness and roundness to it that I look for as I'm passing through the shelves. See, well, nothing exciting in the dishes, which I'm a-okay with since I don't really want to buy any dishes. This is an interesting glass bowl. Again, I can tell that is a made in China Pontol. $7.99, not a bad price. Somebody should pick that up. It's a cool decorator piece, just not for me. Oh boy, do they have a lot of wine glasses. I tend to find that right after New Year's, there's a heavy amount of donating of like champagne flutes and wine glasses. Um, historically, I have seen that every year as long as I can remember and it makes sense, you know. People used them for their New Year's parties and then like, hey, let's donate them. And here they are. A little shell bowl. And we got drinking glasses over here. Boy, these are heavy duty, like restaurant wear ones. Very heavy duty. Almost wonder if they'd even break if you dropped them. I'm gonna get these two guys together there. This almost looks like that um, Bryce Rancho. I just wish there was more, but there's only one, so we will leave that. That is, um, I think that's Pioneer Woman's pattern there. And again, there's just one of each, so that doesn't do us much good. All right, let's look in the mugs real quick. <laughs> World's okayest boss. <laughs> you know, if Carrie was here, she'd be getting that for me. Or at least showing it to me. <laughs> As a joke. As a joke. NASCAR 24. It's the 50th anniversary, 1997. Hmm. $2.99. You know what? I think I have some people that would be very interested in this. I'm gonna grab it. What is this guy? World's greatest gambler. <laughs> okay. What are you? Rhodesian Ridgeback Mom. Oh, it's just a nice yellow mug. Keep calm and drink tea. Retired with a great looking mug. All right, I don't see, this is an opal house. I don't see anything else here. We'll move on. All right, we are in the kind of the crafty mishmash shelves. Monopoly bid, buy, trade, or steal card game. Hmm. My kids and I are now doing a family game night on a regular basis again. We did for a while and then we kind of fell away from it. So we're, we're doing it again. And we had so much fun Sunday night. What is the peppermint pig? What is the pepper? Oh, it's, it's actually peppermint. So I was hoping it was ceramic, but it is not. What are all these down here? Oh, sidewalk chalk. Goodness. Lots of crafty stuff. Cool toolbox. It's actually a really cool toolbox. This is the kind of thing that would sell well down at the antique mall booth. If I can find a price on it. Let's see. Ten bucks. I just don't know. I don't know what it's worth. That's the thing. I don't know. I don't even know a name of who makes it. So, I'll 
leave that for somebody else. That's a neat item though. And let's see. There's a lot going on around me. I don't know if you can hear all that. This new microphone system has been working pretty darn good. I've been very pleased with the uh, lack of all the noise over me coming through. All right. All right, we've got candles. Nothing exciting. Looking in the bathroom stuff. Nothing exciting. Boy, just nothing exciting. If I missed something, saw that I should have looked at, you let me know down in those comments. I just spotted this lamp up here that I'm really loving, but it looks like it's coming apart in places, so I have to pass on that. I always find these, but they never have their adapters, and every time we've tried to get an adapter for one, they don't work. So I've kind of given up on buying those unless they have their adapter with them. This is kind of a cute little boudoir lamp, $10. Not super motivated. Some of those might be really good lamps. I'm just not super motivated today to buy lamps, so I will leave those for somebody else. Color me crazy, but I kind of like this sofa. I mean, it's it's a super cool vintage. The little button tuck and what do you call that? Something something and tuck. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. What are they asking? Oh, it looks like it already sold. 80 bucks. 80 bucks on the sofa. All right, I am gonna take a quick spin through the art just because that's kind of a interesting little conglomeration piece. Got a little fake sand dollar. Nothing's really like even telling me to dig further. I mean, that's... It's kind of cool, but Nanette Lepore. But yeah, I just don't, I just don't need that. That this is like filler to me for stuff, and I just, I'm not at a place of needing filler right now. So it's got to be, it's got to be pretty special if I'm gonna pick it up today. You know, I'm kind of, I'm scanning just the tops of the frames, looking for anything like super cool and vintage, like you know the gold gesso frame kind of calls to me and then I look and like yeah it's not so it's not so great oh, and then I'm looking and this stuff is so big I don't want to deal with it so I just pass it right on by all right I found one more little nicky knack shelf <laughs> that's kind of funny that would be like a dollar store piece I can tell by that red made in china sticker um, I just stay clear away from that particular mark because it's normally mass marketed, cheap, fairly modern goods. Yeah, let's see. This, this has a brightness to it that is attractive. Let's see what you say. You say lead crystal, Germany, WMF. I don't know if that is even focusing. Focus on that. Focus on that. There we go. It's trying to focus. There's that mark. But it is $7.99. We will put you back. They do have a red tag sale again coming up in a couple of weeks. So they're kind of stocking the shelves with the red tag stuff for that sale. Ah, do I need any more of these right now? Gosh, this is a really good price on these. So I am going to pick these up because it's basically a buck a piece. And now I got six of them. I did grab a couple things off the cart as I was going by too that I will show you in just a moment. Who makes you? Pumpkins by Max Sarah. And we've got some Edwin Knowles collector plates. Oh, it is pretty. It's got a birdie. They just don't sell though. It is unfortunate. And we've got some candle holders inside baggies. Goodness. 
goodness. Who are you? See if you oh, you're Gorum. Oh, inside a baggie like that. Well, at least there's only this, these two in the baggie. It's only $2.99 for these nice Gorum candle holders. I think I might pick those up. This is um, wrapped really interestingly. It's, uh, hold on, let me get it to where I'm reading it right side up. It is, it is a Limoges Castell. $10 red tag. But it's like in its original, it's in its original plastic wrap. Okay, this is one I might have to look up. So I can't find this particular one, but I will tell you that this brand can bring some pretty good money, especially the ones in the cobalt blue. So you know what? I am going to pick this up for 10 bucks. So one of the things I found them bringing out was this Build-A-Bear in its box. I can't open it because they've got the tag closing it, but I can tell it is a dog. Uh, I don't know much about this one, but he is in pristine condition in his original box. And he is $7.99, so I grabbed him, and then I grabbed this bank that has a buffalo on one side and uh, a an, uh, Native American on the other side. I think it's supposed to be like a buffalo nickel kind of looking thing. Uh, it is a bank. You can see there. I can't tell who makes it because the... Well, oh no, it's an anchor hawking because there's the anchor right there. It's $3.99 though, so I think it's super cool for $3.99. And also got, come here, oh, I buried you. I got, this guy's just, I know he's just a little on the beat up side, but how fun is this bookend? Industrial, it's $2.99, gotta have him. All right, then I'm gonna come back. And look at this plate that is a made in Bavaria. It's got an R with a crown is the mark. I think it says 1978 on it. It's pretty, but again, these are just a tough sell. It's a tough sell. Got a whale. This one is 1991. Used to have a whole collection of Wyland shell plates. We've got a copper geisha 13. I was getting down here to this cross because you know I've been picking some of these up lately but this one is a really cheaply made one so we will leave that one. And we will look up here at this little boat which is nothing too special. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're plastic. I was hoping you were shell. You are not. This is a interesting piece of pottery, but unfortunately there is a decapitated child on the back. So, price is right, but uh, we're going to leave you. All right. Oh, hello birdies. I see some birdies. Birdies in a bag. A couple of little vintage birdies. They're just, they're nothing nothing too special. And there's this little, I think Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas just found this exact same little vase in her most recent video. How funny is that? You know what? I might give this to her so she can sell them as a pair. Okay. And the reason I said might is because she has to want it. <laughs> I'm not going to force it on her. I'm going to ask her if she would like it so she can sell the pair. Oh, a little bunny's garden. 99 cents. We are going to do our fairy garden. I'm going to grab that for Rachel and I because spring, spring is going to be here. It will. This winter stuff is not forever. Even though I'm like really over it already. Really over it. It's like, I think that's like a Oaxaca, but it's not anything, you know, it's just a plain little cup kind of a thing. We've got some dolls under here. Look at this big honking piece of just decorative art glass. I mean it's pretty but it's not worth a whole bunch. Definitely not worth dealing with. She has a nice face. Just a little reproduction bisque doll that I'm gonna try to take a peek at the back of her neck and see if she is marked at all. 
I don't see anything. It would be right here if there was, you know, something, something special to know about her. She's nice. She's nicer than the average little doll you see on the shelf. And we're down to just one little teeny tiny shelf with some Christmas stuff on it, which is kind of cool. Look at these elephants with brass decorations on them. $5.99 a piece. They don't, they're not, they just, they don't appeal to me that much, so I'm going to leave them. You guys know my thing. It's like, I have to have some interest in dealing with it, looking at it, looking it up, all that stuff. I, he doesn't excite me, so... I'll leave him for somebody who will find him super exciting. And uh, what would this do? It would hold something, right? Is this Egyptian? You know, Carrie just told me that they've got like the Egyptian thing going, but I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> okay, Carrie, if you watch this, tell me if I should have picked that up for you. So I can learn. Got some little folk art paintings here that are kind of cute. Goodness, I do like those. They are paintings too. They're not prints. There's that one. And there's this little, like a red schoolhouse with the flag flying. Those are really nice. I think I am going to grab those. And up here, Love is being owned by a Maltese. No, I don't anything in the Christmas that we just can't live without. Oh, there's more of those. And lights, lights, lights. Okay. Okay, I spotted this pan. Like, what? What is it? What? Tell me. I don't know. What is this pan called? What is it for? I get that it kind of, like, stirs, but that's all I can figure out. It's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> I could see myself cooking if I could just do this, but no, honestly, I, I have never seen a pan like this. So somebody enlighten me on this one. All right, we're gonna kind of whiz through the textiles up here. See if there's anything special. Those are all flags, those are cool. Yeah, da -da -da -da. Those are interesting with a little, oh, I think they're, are they, it's like a valance. Okay, it's a valance, it's a valance. Sometimes it takes a minute to figure out what stuff is. And down here might have some table runner kind of stuff. Ooh, who makes you? You've got a tag on you. You are, Ah, uh, the Faki collection, Royal Interiors, I don't know, and I hope I said that right, <laughs> and I hope it came across right. All right, um, all right, nothing. All right, I see this really cool looking giraffe up here. He'd be a little tough to ship because he's just so tall, but he is, oh, it's like a musical. I tend to stay away from those. All right, he's not that special, but he did look cool. Too much hassle factor, that's why I'm leaving him. Too much hassle factor. Ponytails. Little owl. A dolphin. Ah, nice tiger. Again, the shipping now, it's like, oof. Anything like he's going to be on the verge of being oversized. And unfortunately that just makes it. I used to sell stuff that big all the time because, well, shipping wasn't as bad as it is now. But now you got to take that into consideration. I know there's some My Little Ponies and I've, and I've done a, whoops, I'm dropping Little Ponies on the ground. But this guy caught my eye and he's got no tushy tag. It's got a very familiar look to him, but I'm going to leave him. You know, I always see Woody and I see Bullseye. I know I called him Bullet in the last thing. It's He's Bullseye, uh, but I never see Jessie. So it's kind of cool to see a Jessie. Is she official? I don't know if she's like an official. Oh, I don't. Yeah, Disney Pixar toys and she is $5.99. See, I just... I don't know. I think I'll leave her, but 
I'm gonna look her up and see how Jesse does. All right, I think I'm gonna take my cart full of stuff and call it a night. Feel pretty good about everything that I've got in here. So let's go check out. On my way out, I spotted this and I thought, hmm, because that's what I saw first. I'm like, oh, that's, that's Jack Skellington and it is Disney Parks and it is $3.99. That should be an easy 15 to 20 dollars. was a pretty good trip. Pretty happy with those finds. Um, I just, I love the variety that you can find at Goodwill. It just always amazes me, just the unique finds. And you'll see trends depending on where you live. You know, what are the popular retail stores in your area? Like here, we see a lot of home goods stuff. We see a lot of Hobby Lobby stuff coming through because those are like the popular stores that people shop at to decorate their houses. And then the stuff ends up at Goodwill at some point. So I just wish Goodwill would learn the Hobby Lobby pricing just a little better and that they weren't just pricing at half of what the Hobby Lobby price was because honestly, half of the Hobby Lobby price is actually the full retail Hobby Lobby price for most stuff because <laughs> that's how their sale cycle works. It's kind of like Kohl's, you know, where you can stack, you know, discount on discount and, and coal shoppers that are regulars know that, but it's all good. It's, I would still, I would still pay the half of the Hobby Lobby price if it was something super desirable you know, or something that I just really wanted for my own house and that kind of a thing. But just got to be really careful for resale, what you're doing, because people are savvy about that pricing around here anyways. All right. I think I am going to take my kids out to dinner tonight. I think I am. I'm going to surprise them. I'm going to go grab them and say, hey, let's go out to dinner. Yes, I think I will. So, with that, I hope you are having a splendid evening, afternoon, day, whenever you're seeing this. And uh, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>